you see that it's scheduling yep and then matrix report there are two things yes yeah so today we are going to work on these two areas and then from next week uh, from day uh, from tomorrow we are working on the calculated fields awesome. and then we will work on the performance uh, report performance awesome. uh, calculated field i assume that it will take a couple of days uh, and the performance uh, will take like the same day like a couple of uh, like 30 minutes or more maybe more less than that i was wondering <clears throat> can we uh return back to our uh, other reports after afterwards as well so that we have a more solid understanding or i have a more understanding of it and also um i was asked if uh if we could if it's possible i'm not too sure but if it's possible can we tr uh look into a bit into the finance reporting as well to see the difference between the two okay so first of all like we, will we go back to the regional reports i think i'll let you give a time a time in a day for for like uh, try to practice it and then huh? if you have a question i can get back to you or you can ask me the question for in one of the session and we okay. can work on that and the financial report yes when we are going to discuss about like the the objects we are going to discuss those things too in more detail oh like cool what are the difference it's the objects but again uh uh, I would like to to write, write. Generally, we have done a lot of reports, right? Uh -huh. uh, not a lot, but uh, we we done <clears throat> reports. So what I was expecting that you can work on it. Like you take your time and you can try to to read the things and you can come up with some of the questions. And I would be more easily answer your questions. Awesome. Yeah. I uh, yeah. yeah. So, I'm quite excited. The, the, to hear. Yeah. Uh, the the most important thing is you need to to work. Start working on it. Right. Right, uh, right to do practice and then you you come up with the questions okay sounds good okay so uh, <laughs> let's say we, we create a quickly a simple report uh, like the advanced report Okay, now I have a report with, with the legal first name and last name, these two columns, and it's not shared with anyone, right? Correct. Uh, it will bring some data, but it would not be shared with anyone. Like no one is going to receive it. No one is going to 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 see that. For mm -hmm. example, if I'll go on like, let's say, Bob Stalk, uh, or anyone, it would not be uh, available for them, right? Sure. So, oh, because like I didn't share it with this. You, you remember that security portion we discussed yesterday, right? Uh huh. This one. This report was not shared with anyone. Yes. So if I go here on these three dots, <clears throat> and you know that normally we do run, right? Ye yes. So if we don't do run and we are trying to schedule it. Uh -huh. hmm. And if I run now, like the uh, the frequencies run now, or there are more than one frequencies, run now, run run in future, uh, run in uh, daily recurrence, weekly, monthly, and everything. Yes. Yeah. So if I I just run it now and click uh -huh. OK. Then it will come up with this screen it will not run it will ask me like either i wanted to to do the output in excel pdf or csv uh -huh. and then to whom i would like to share this report output 
any security group, any authorized user, like any person. Like for example, I'm just saying that I I just copy the name Bob Stalk, and I wanted this report to be sent to him. Mm-hmm. And I I agree to the statement. What is statement? Statement is this. Specifically, sharing option for the report. Note that the share report output with the users below you are authorized the specific users the right to view the report and its data uh, exactly as you see it. It, regardless of their security, like even if the people do not have access or not, you will get. Uh, uh, this information to them, right? This is by default. Like either they are, they have access or not. This is bypass their their security. You are just telling them they don't have a security access, but still do that. Correct. I see. Okay. If I yep. click OK, then it will automatically run now. And it will go to the uh, shared output like this. And the same like Bob will also receive this output. See, the Bob will also. Uh... Did, you, did, did it make sense? Uh, yes, it makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so this is how you can share the the report. You can also run this report like uh, by by scheduling it, and you can schedule it for lot of things. Like you can do the daily reoccurrence. That means that you want this report to run for someone for daily, and you can give the time, and you can run it now, and the start date, end date. And then you share the output like in Excel or something, and then you will share the output automatically. Make sense? Yes, it makes sense. Okay, so this is very simple that you can share your report output result even if people do not have access to 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 them, and you can send it to their inbox like it's sending it to their inbox. Okay, so this is uh, more or less when you are working in your company, you will need it. Uh, okay, so this is like uh, the normally in your company, you will get this excesses and uh, and you need to share this type of information with some of the people, even they don't have access, but they, they want this. Oh, okay. Don't share. Uh, yeah and and especially uh this happens in in your life like several times okay let me open this report again and now i'll go here and i'll go to the advanced and see the, uh, sorry our shared i can see that the, the report output is with john's right correct correct so i would try to transfer this ownership to someone else so what i can do there is a transfer ownership task and you can transfer the ownership to the new owner whoever you want to make sense yes and if you go on these three dots you can also delete the report Right, these are the, the important functions we, we have discussed. Um, is everything okay? Yep. Oh, okay. I see. Okay, so sketching our report is normally it happens like, for example, if you have a payroll in your company and you don't want or they do not have a relevant access, you can send this output to the payroll team. 
and they can uh, read it automatically every weekend because it's a scheduling of the things and then the the transfer ownership is like when you, when a person is terminated or this report is assigned to someone else you can uh -huh. uh, transfer it to yourself so here technically we have closed our advanced reporting session and now we are working on the uh, matrix report uh-huh Did you remember that you mentioned that if we, we start with the temporary report, can we make it uh, permanent? Did you remember remember that question? Yeah, that was from yesterday. Yeah. So if you have advanced and if you have a temporary report, let's say, then this is a temporary report. Look at this. Uh-huh. So how you long does temporary change... report last? Oh, yeah. Oh, I see it. <laughs> so you can change it to 2023 and click OK so it's for next year and if you decided to keep it forever you go here on edit and go to advance and you remove this and it will be last forever make sense yep I like that yeah yeah so this is possible okay now uh, we are going to touch base on the matrix report uh, matrix report is in the rows and columns both are changing right you know about the matrix report don't you uh, correct so yeah. so we are going to create a custom report with the matrix report actually okay that's a create custom report task same matrix Ed, sorry it's a matrix report type should be matrix and all active employee uh okay oh there's a misspell yeah all all active employees is it possible to do a data score for all active oh, i mean yeah never mind it makes yeah okay so what I want you to do, I want you to see the comp uh, like the company, uh -huh. any companies I have in the in the system, okay. and then I want you to know the gender, like how many males and females, uh -huh. and I just go OK with this and run it. So now see I have a three companies. Alma Master University Foundation, Master uh, Meta University Canada, and Meta University USA. And there is a person with the blank company. And there are uh, gender is a Verna Report 2, Verna Report 2, Verna Report 2. This is wrong. We, we choose the wrong uh, function. Someone is trying to create it for the test purpose, and we pick the wrong uh, function about that. I can go here and I can see that this is like a object and this is uncategorized. So someone has created it. So I will just try to write the gender again. And this is the right field because this is a work that delivered field. Wait, uh, can, you, can you do that again? I'll do that. I'll give me one second. I'll run it and I'll show you again. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. It's okay. Now, if you look at the Alma University USA, you can see that there is a male and female. Metro mm -hmm. University Canada, there is a female and male. And USA, not declared to. And we have a different type of people in the different companies with the different genders. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Now, yes. I don't like it. Like, I, I, I wanted this gender to come here. Like gender one, gender two, or something like that, right? Uh huh. So I go and edit it. And I remove this gender from here and I put the gender group in the group by field. Sorry. So one, I run this. Now you see that. There is a less thing and there's some more columns here. 
Yes. In the USA, Alma University, there is a male 145 and female 123, and there are blank two and not declared three. And if I click on these numbers, uh -huh. it will open these three names. Oh, okay, cool. And if I click on this, it will bring all the 273 employees. And I can see that, let's say it's two and the blank, I'll open it and I'll open the employee in the next window and I go into the personal and I see that the gender is not entered. Uh -huh. So that makes sense. But I want this, this thing in more detail, right? When I click on these two, there will be not only the, the employee we need, I need something more like my, my manager says that Let's bring some some more information for them. I go and edit this. Okay. I go to the drill down. And I click on the details. I'll click on the employee ID. Employee ID, I see. I, I click on the employee. Uh, I I'm sorry. click on yeah. When, when you're doing this, uh, where would it be if you just click, uh, if you, so what if I didn't know where, uh, where would the employee ID be under the, would it by, be by click category? Click on the all. Okay. Sorry, all will not work because there are a lot of people, but categorized. And you, mm -hmm. you can sign, find the, from the which category you want to pick. So I see. probably I'm, I'm looking for the worker information, right? So Correct. I'll click on the worker here. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Because I'm okay. And then I bring. But generally, I'll tell you that how did I I normally uh, reach to this level. This is the this is on my agenda, like how to find out like the the fields and all these details. By company, okay. Yeah, I'm just adding company, right? And I, I click OK now. Uh huh. And I run it. And if I click on these three, okay, see the employee ID, employee, and the company, everything is there. I see. Understood. I'm okay, then I go and edit. I can go and edit again. Uh -huh. Right. And then I wanted one more thing. I don't want the output in, in table. I wanted it in the chart and table both. And click OK. And I run it. Uh -huh. So now you see that. Did you see that the graphical representation? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Like yeah. these are all females. This is uh, males. This is females. This is blank. This is not declared. Right. And when I click here, yeah, I can see the, the not declared here too. Cool. Makes sense. Yes. So, so you can change, you go and edit there. And if you don't like this graph, you can change the graph too. And let's say I remove gender from here and I just wanted to, to put gender here. And I'll go to the output and the graphs option, chart options are here. Uh -huh. And this is like a cluster. Oh. So I wanted to change it to, let's say bubble. 
Oh, Bob doesn't work with this. Oh. Line. See, oh. it, of course, this this does not make any sense because like the graph is not correct, right, which I use. Right. But I can use like the different options. Understood. Understood. And I can configure it on the runtime here too. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, right? Yes. And this is more pretty, like a donut's graph is more better to see that, like. So you can create a N number of matrix report. You should have uh, some requirements, uh, how to create it, like, uh, sorry, what to create it. Like the more absolute criteria you have, the more easily you will decide like which report you are going to use and what will be the benefit out of it. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Hmm. Any question, anything? Do you want me to, to, to discuss any point of view here or not? I remember your one question, which I'm going to discuss now, but before that. Uh, mm, we, okay, so, so I'm trying to recreate what you have um, by memory. <laughs> so, so from the data source, what, where, uh, what, what, where do where are you getting the information from? Okay, so this is a data source. If oh, I awesome. click and open it in another window, I will see all the fields available for this person. Okay. Right? Or if I go and open this person, I know that this is a gender, this is a date of birth, this is a marital status, this is documentation and a lot of things here. I can read their names from here, like a personal information. I can read the gender. I can read the go to the overview and for find like the compensation and I'll find like the total base pay salaries and all this stuff. That's why right. if you remember that I asked you yesterday that did you work on the uh, the like did you have the the LMS training or not and you mentioned not so. Yeah. Okay. It, no. So my question was. So in the data source, I have uh I don't have the option to choose all active employees. 